Okay, are y'all ready for this? Listen, today we're deriving Pythagorean triples. And today I have a very special video for all the students who have subscribed. We have a 1,000 subscribers special. And I want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed. And in this lesson, we're going to be talking about how to derive Pythagorean triples. And we know in a right triangle, we have a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. So there's two cases here that I've drawn so far. And one of these we have where we have, um, let me see, we have uh, x is an odd number. And we have where y is an even number. So on the left column, I have a leg, x, and a hypotenuse, and then given an odd number for x, we can come up with a leg and a hypotenuse, where these would be Pythagorean triples. And on the right column, we have y, which is would be an even number, like 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And then we will derive a formula to come up with the other leg and the hypotenuse. Okay, so... Let's dive into this right away. On the first one where we have 3, what we're going to do is we're going to square this 3 right here. What is 3 squared? Well, that's 9. And we take 9 and divide it by 2. If we split 9, we get 4.5. But since these are integer values, instead of writing 4.5, I'm going to write 4 here and 5 there. And I think you're very familiar with the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Probably the most commonly asked triangle on SAT tests or ACT tests or any math test in geometry. The next one we have a le a x is 5. And so what we're going to do is we're going to square the 5 again. 5 squared is 25. And we split the 25 into 12 and 13. And again, 12 plus 13 is 25, which is 5 squared. Okay. And so we know that 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to 13 squared. Moving right along, we have 7. So if x is 7, we square the 7, you get 49. And 49, if I subtract 1, I get 48. Half of 48 is 24. And the hypotenuse would be one more. And pretty soon you'll start to see a pattern here. 24 plus 25 is 7. And so we know 7 squared gives us 49. It would be the sum of the leg and the hypotenuse. And in this case, the other leg and the hypotenuse are always off by 1. The hypotenuse is 1 greater than the other leg. Let's take a look at 9. 9 squared is 81. Subtract 1 is 80. Divided by 2 is 40. And we add 1 to that to get the hypotenuse. And again, 40 plus 41 is 81, which is 9 squared. Okay, and 9 squared plus 40 squared equals 41 squared. Going back to the Pythagorean formula, a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. Okay. The next one is 11. As the numbers get larger and larger here, the formula still works, they're just not as commonly seen on problems. The more common ones are your 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, sometimes 7, 24, 25, and then the, uh, the others. 11 squared is 121. 121 minus 1 is 120. If we take half of that, we get 60, and then we add 1 to that to get the hypotenuse. So 11 squared plus 60 squared is equal to 61 squared. Wow. Okay. Let's try the next one. 13 squared. 13 squared is 169. Minus 1 is 168. And if we divide that by 2, we get 84. And if we add 1, that's 85. Okay. And, of course, 84 plus 85 is 169. And the last example that we're going to do here before we can come up with the formula is going to be 15. 15 squared is 225, minus 1 is 224, 
and half of that would be 112, and if we add 1 to that, it would be 113. So 15 squared plus 112 squared is equal to 113 squared. Wow! That is amazing. So what's our formula for this? Well, it looks to me like if I want the leg, I could do x squared minus 1 and then divide by 2. That's what I was doing. And if you would like just the hypotenuse, then you could just do x squared, add 1, and then divide by 2. So there's a nifty little formula. I've yet to see any of these formulas in any book. So these are just formulas that I came up by working with these with our students that are working in UIL number sense or working on SAT math problems and things like that. Okay, Let's take a look at the second column. And here we're talking about an even number where y is an even number. And we'd like to see how we're going to get a leg and a hypotenuse out of that. So it's a special formula for this. On this one, we're going to take the 6, and we'll take half of 6 is 3, and we square the 3. 3 squared is 9, and then we subtract 1, that's 8, and 9 plus 1 is 10. 6, 8, 10. Okay, so 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. All right. The next even number is 8. So what do we do? Take half of 8. That's 4. 4 squared is 16. 16 minus 1. And 16 plus 1. So that means that 8 squared plus 15 squared is equal to 17 squared. Okay. Moving right along. The next one is 10. Take half of 10. That's 5. 5 squared is 25. So 25 is between these two. So we just go 1 down and 1 up. And so 10 squared plus 24 squared is equal to 26 squared. The next number is 12. What's half of 12? That's 6. 6 squared is 36. So we do 36 minus 1 and 36 plus 1. So in case you want to do a quick check here, 12 squared is 144 and 35 squared is 1,225. And if we add those together, that's 9, 6, 3, 1. And that's 37 squared, 1369. So it checks, okay? Let's try one more before we come up with the formula. 14 is an even number. What's half of 14? 7. 7 squared is 49. Take the 49 minus 1 and take the 49 plus 1. So I think you see what we're doing here. We're taking half of y squared and then we do minus 1 or half of y squared and we do plus 1 for the hypotenuse. So to find the leg, it would be half of y squared minus 1 or half of y squared plus 1. And so here you have the formulas if y is an even number, you're going to use these formulas right here. And if x is an odd number, use these formulas right here. And that will be uh, the video so far. Now, if you like these type of tricks and little shortcuts for your uh, math classes to solve problems in SAT math or ACT, uh, please let me know. Make some comments down there so I'll know if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new. Uh, if you have any questions on this, let me know because I'm going to be making more videos to help students and as we grow and grow the channel, right now we have 1,000 subscribers plus, And our goal is now to get to 2,000. Pass the word. Share this with your friends. Share with your classmates. Math teachers, share this with your students. And pass the word. Subscribe to The Number Sense. Thank you very much. Have a great day. All right.